Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics bringing you your next tip for Tuesday. So it is that time of year again where the season's starting to promote lots of blooming and blossoming. There's lots of pollen in the air. Uh, the wind is really stirring up people's allergies and we're seeing lots of sinus issues getting flared off. So I've had uh, plenty of patients ask me what are some natural alternatives we can use to better our allergies and our sinuses. And I was just wanting to reach out to you guys today to kind of give you a, a few tidbits of advice as far as what I would do um, as far as recommending for my patients and for myself personally. One thing to keep in mind, um, there is a special class of antihistamine medication called anticholinergic medication. This includes typically like Benadryl or Tylenol PM um, and some other allergy type medications that they've actually had studies that show long-term use of these uh, promote dementia and um, atrophy of the brain. So from a long-term perspective, Obviously, we all want to keep our brain power. So one thing we really need to ask ourselves, is it worth it to sacrifice the function of our brain for a little bit of short-term relief with some of the symptoms that allergies might bring? So one thing to appreciate from a chiropractic perspective, I'll draw you to this chart that I regularly uh, try and show you guys, but appreciating that we have a lot going on in our neck here that plays into how we feel the symptoms of um, allergies and sinus trouble. So really simply here you can see um, C1. This, has, this is connected to lots of areas of the body but particularly the sympathetic nervous system which does kind of play into the regulation of how we manage our allergies. But you can see common symptoms of allergies like headaches, uh, tiredness, even dizziness or vertigo can be linked with that upper neck. You can see the very first uh, and second symptom on C2, which is a common area of the neck that I see. Those are common symptoms right here. So appreciating that upper neck can really be involved um, with that area, but you can even see further down in the middle part of the neck, C5, C6, you can see laryngitis, hoarseness, sore throat, things that can be associated with allergies. And then even working down into our mid back here, T8, T9, you can see your adrenal glands have a lot to do with how uh, our body responds to a stressful stimulus. And you can actually see that allergies and hives are two common symptoms connected with that mid-back area. So again, from a chiropractic perspective, it's important to appreciate that our body, and specifically our spine, has a strong connection for how well our uh, body is able to handle the stressors of a overstimulating environment when we have lots of pollen in the air. Um, other things that I really recommend, allergies I think have a strong link with the balance of our gut. So I always recommend being on a regular probiotic just to help balance out the gut flora in your stomach. And that has to do with how well you regulate um, some of those uh, external responses that irritate your system. Zinc is another one I think a lot of patients are uh, deficient in typically because of our, our diet. But they've actually shown in some studies that the zinc might uh, closer bind our stomach cells so that there's less leakage as far as leaky gut syndrome is concerned and we tend to have less inflammation when that is involved. So these two supplements are things that I encourage on a regular basis and then something that we provide here in the clinic, we pro provide a couple different uh, ways of accomplishing this but this is our little handheld cold laser um, and you can program it to specific settings as far as where your body might be overstimulated when it comes to allergy symptoms, sinusitis, inflammation, those kind of things. So you can see in this regard, it's just a simple light therapy, um, but we use this in conjunction with a lot of the chiropractic work that we do, especially in regards to say a C2 nerve root. So we would hold this in the direction of the C2 uh, vertebra to help balance out the anatomy and physiology in that local area as well. So right there, like I said, four simple natural solutions Chiropractic is very effective for helping people balance with the balance out the stresses that their bodies are encountering throughout their environment. Um, zinc probiotics are really good for gut health, and then cold laser is a really cool technological option to help promote and restore um, some of the imbalances in your body. So, if you have any further questions on any of these suggestions, please don't help to reach out and ask. Uh, my name is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics. Again, thanks for watching.